Hi everyone, it was time for a new geode painting and this time, as promised, I want to use the art resin to test it. But before we start, some housekeeping notes and as you can see here, this time it is a wooden panel. And it's not just an MDF board like the ones that I used in my previous video, which in case you did not see this one yet, you really should watch this one before. Just to have it seen, I'd say. <laughs> so this time I'm using a wooden panel, which is basically a wooden canvas. So it is something like an even MDF board on top and it has some yeah, wooden edges, frames around it, just to keep it stabilized. This makes things easier as this is not likely at all to bend and it makes the entire thing look more polished and finished in the very end as you're going to have yeah, edges which you do not really have when you just use the MDF boards. As I like to have clean edges, I again decided to use my gaffer tape here. Actually, I do not really know if you call it the same ray. We call it gaffer tape. It is some kind of really strong tape, which has fabric woven into it. So it's really a strong tape. This tape really grabs perfectly to whatever surface. And if you put it really tight towards the wood, no resin is able to float through it. And this is something I really wanted to have because I needed a barrier for the resin to not flow over the edges. For the coming project, I used two of these boards. Each one is 50 by 70 centimeters, so it's a really large project in the very end. And I wanted to look both sides like they were mirrored, so fitting together in the very end. So long story short, I taped both panels and then I was ready to go. As I have learned in my previous works, I wanted to have the background darker again, because the pigment seemed to show better on darker backgrounds. And as this panel was some kind of beige wood tone, of course, I decided for a dark blue. So there is no need to use the same blue as I did, just a quite dark background. The paint that I used is just acrylics, so something that dries rather quickly. I would not recommend using oils or something, because Point one, I do not really know if the resin sticks well on oil, because it's an oily surface, even if dried. And it would just take way longer to dry in the end. So acrylics is my go-to medium for the background color. Once the paint was dry, or at least almost dried, I started decorating the background. And for the background decoration you can use whatever materials you want. Of course, because it's always up to you what you're creating. I again want to use some broken glass nuggets. I again used my black stones, which I also used in my first geode painting. And yeah, this time I just used some different colored glass nuggets. I used the white ones again, the large white and the smaller white ones, some amber colored rocks and later on also some purple ones. So just the colors that you yeah prefer the most, I'd say. So some of the color will vanish once you put your resin over it, so it will not be as vibrant and bright when it comes to the glass, but at least the shimmery shiny effect, which we all love, will remain. <laughs> so these were the glass nuggets that I used for this one. I do have those in many colors, so more projects are to come in different color combinations. But for this time here, these are the colors which I've used. Feel free to use whatever color you want to use, of course. And once the basic design was done, I just added some PVA glue to it. This is the white stuff that you can see me pour over it or under the glass nuggets. You basically do not really need to do this. I just do not want something to flow around or to, to move while the resin is onto the surface. And so I just used the PVA glue to glue it down. It is white here in this video, but once it's drying, it is completely clear and invisible and everything will stay in place where it's supposed to stay. Of course, if you decide to use the PVA glue to fix everything down to the surface, you need to wait until everything is dried. So once you did it, you cannot just add the resin over it. I really do not know what is going to happen, but I can imagine that the resin will cure strangely when it comes in contact with the PVA glue and the water that is contained in there. and if the resin cures faster than the glue is drying, so just to be on the safe side, let it dry first. Once the mainly rough rocky stone part was done, it was time to add some more color. Firstly, I want to start with some gold. Is it always a good decision to start with the gold, isn't it? 
When you're following my videos for a bit already, you know that I have different kinds of gold colors. And the first paint that I used was my gold crackling paint. You all know how much I love this crackling paint. It is more like a paste, in case you do not know it, I have linked it in the video description down below. You apply it to whatever surface it tries and while it's drying it cracks and creates beautiful shapes. The second gold color that I've used is the golden mica flakes which looks like a brown, brownish something ugly mess, as long as it's red. But when it is drying, the brownish milky paint mixture is drying and it's drying clear, so only the golden mica flakes remain. And this gold is really, yeah, it looks like gold. So we have gold colors that do not really look like gold in the very end, but this one really does. It is quite expensive, but it's really worth the money. The gold crackling paint is not really a very pretty gold, but the cracks which it creates compensate for the color, I'd say. When the gold was added, I thought that the upper part was not looking as finished as I hoped to, so I just added some more of my blue cracking paint, which has the same effect as the gold one, just another shade of the color. In my very first attempt, a couple of months back, I used the very same technique for the basic design, I'd say. But for the project back then, I used another kind of resin. It was my cheaper resin, which is more liquid. For this project here, although it is way bigger, I decided to use my art resin, which is about three times the price. But as a resin itself, it is also thicker. So I hope to be yeah, able to work in better defined lines for this project here, which I was not sure at this point. To give me some kind of backup plan, I decided to make some kind of barriers for the resin to not flow over or to at least be stopped at. And as I was having some window color colors laying around here for about, I don't know, 20 years or so, I wanted to use a clear drying one to make some yeah, borders or barriers for the resin. This is what you can see here. These are the small shimmery shiny lines that you can see. I missed filming the process, but actually if you know window color, it is just some thicker liquid color thingy which you apply to yeah, a surface and once it's dry you can peel it off and put it onto your windows or something. So this is what I put on here and I used of course a clear drying one to not have any different colors in the resin in the end. If you want to use it to have some highlights into it, you can also use whatever color of the window color and you have your lines visible in the very end, which might of course look cool, perhaps. Perhaps next time. <laughs> this took about a day or so to dry completely, and so I waited until the next day to continue with this project. And until this time, everything was, I'd say, the easy part. Because everything was controllable, everything was clear and not as sticky and dirty, but starting with the resin part is always the part where I have to concentrate the very most just to not mess up everything what you've done so far. Before I actually mixed my resin, I thought about which colors I want to have onto there. And basically you should have done this before you start the entire project, but as oftentimes when you are on the go and creating, you redecide and you change your mind. So I thought again which colors I wanted to use, and I wanted to have a dark purple for the very bottom part, some blue, some metallic green and of course it needed some gold. To separate each of these layers I also mixed some whites which was a resin paste which is a highly pigmented paste especially meant for the resin. The metallic blue was just my metallic green. The gold were made from pigments and the purple part was mixed from a pink and a blue again metallic colors which work really great with the resin. To make everything very shiny in the very end, of course, I added some glitter to each of these colors, except for the gold. Or did I add some glitter to the gold? I don't really know. Glitter is a great decision to use when you want to do something with resin and a geode painting, because once the sunlight or whatever light hitting it, it looks really awesome if there is some glitter into it. And when your colors are mixed, it is just about to pour it onto your surface. <laughs> Um, it, it depends a bit on the working time that you have with your resin. With the art resin you do have about 45 minutes working time until everything starts to settle. And when the resin is curing it is going to be a bit warmer and it's going to get thicker, which makes it a bit harder to work with. And in some parts it makes it easier to work with, especially if you want to have really straight defined lines. Which I did not really manage to get here in this project as well, but I really did not mind. 
So I poured my colors onto it, I used the white paint to separate it a bit, but it feathered a bit into each other, which was again nice looking in this part here. One thing that you really need to keep in mind is that your surface is completely level, which I always try to do in my projects and I honestly thought I did a very great job on this one, but it still was not completely level, so it really was only some degrees unleveled, but everything flew a bit to the top of the painting. Not much this time, so last time it was way worse, but the more level you can get it, the easier it's going to be and everything is going to stay in place where you want it. I need to say though that with the art resin everything stood way better in place than with my cheaper and more liquid resin, so this is really something that makes your life easier if you have a thicker resin. When all my colors were poured and I liked the design of it, I just used some gold leaf and added it to the, the upper golden part, just to have it more shiny and to have more texture into it, because I felt it was a very big part without so much texture. Although you can see the crackling paint underneath, which I hoped for, I needed something in general. So the gold leaf is really shiny when the sunlight hits it and it just looks awesome, so I wanted to have it there. And then it was done and had to cure for about a day. The art resin on the negative side really takes some time to cure. It is about 24 hours until everything is not sticky anymore. The cheaper resin that I used in the last project is, is cured in about 4 hours. Five hours sometimes. So this is really a quick working one and you can yeah, put it aside once everything is cured. The art resin is sticky for at least 12 hours, sometimes 16 hours. It depends a bit on the temperature in your room. And it says it is cured in about 72 hours, which makes three days. I was fine when everything was not sticky anymore, so I could put it aside and let it cure until everything was completely finished. And the end result was just amazing. As usual, I filmed it in the very end and I will show it to you. And I really hope you liked this project. So now I did a three splitted part in my very first attempt. I now did a two split part in my second attempt. And for the next coming geode attempt pouring painting, I want to do a, just a single one with a completely different design. So it is going to come soon. But before I think about my next coming project, which I will show you, I have a small challenge again. Oh, Emily! <laughs> Can you remember when you texted me some weeks ago to my first geode painting and that you liked it? And then that we talked about the challenge. So this is your challenge. Surprise! <laughs> I really hope you liked this video and of course I hope you accept my challenge and try something similar or completely different looking geode painting artwork yourself. If you do it with resin or if you want to do it with acrylic paints, completely up to you. I would love to see what you're coming up with. And for my subscribers, of course, you might not know Emily. She is also a YouTuber and I follow her for quite some time. She does lovely artwork as well in acrylic pouring. And I was a bit fangirling when she replied on one of my videos. So this was a good point to start contacting her. <laughs> of course, I encourage you to check out her channel and subscribe to her as well and share some love and give her some feedback because she's a really, really lovely person and creating awesome artworks. So Emily, I really hope you accept my challenge and I'm super curious about what you are coming up with. And if you have whatsoever question, of course, just get in touch with me again. So best of luck. I for myself, I'm really curious about how her result is going to be and with what challenge she comes up challenging me back. <laughs> so far for now, I'm going to sum this video up and I really hope you like the end result and the demonstration of it. If you do have whatsoever questions remaining, just feel free to leave them in the comments as usual or let me know what you think about it. If you would have loved to see another color palette or what color palette you would like to see in general for a future project. If you're new to my channel and liked what you've seen, just give me a thumbs up for the video and even better subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to not miss out for any new videos. If you're interested in the products that I've used, as usual, I've listed them down below in the description so that you can check them out. And if you want to get in touch with me, you can use my social media links, which are also down below in the video, as usual. So thank you for your time. Thanks for watching and have a great day. <laughs> bye bye.